Breaking news. Army Chief of Staff General Ibrahim Atako dies in plane crash. Hello, my wonderful people. The new Chief of Staff, the new Army Chief of Staff has just died in a plane crash. Um, this is quite um, a tragedy, I must say. Um, this is the new chief of staff who, um, uh, you know, explained and then um, brought to light that the former chief of staff did not procure the, you know, weaponry they should have in combating the insecurity currently facing the country. This is the same chief of staff who had exploded and has really um, shaken up some waters in the recent times. Listen, guys, he did not die alone. He died with other very top military personnel who could possibly have high rank. Remember not too long ago, less than eight weeks, there was the rumor that um, the army were planning to take over the presidency and uh, restore normancy to the, to the country, then probably return power back to the uh, federal government. And before you could say Jack, some um, personnel stood with Muhammad Buhari saying that um, the army stands by Buhari and then um, they are not ready to betray the federal government. I don't know what's asking them to betray the federal government. And um, also there was the rumor that there was uh, a plan to, you know, eliminate all um, heads and senior personnel in the army because there could be possibility of a possible coup. Could this be what has happened? Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. Nigerian chief of army staff killed in plane crash. Hmm. This is happening. It's unfortunate. Death is inevitable. It is called everyone will have to answer someday. It must call. Whether old or young, when the time comes, each individual must answer that call. One day it is become a day for someone that will eventually give an account of how he and she, he or she have lived their life. The class of rich, poor, average make no sense in this current situation. Recently, the Nigerian chief of army staff, Ibrahim, Atakor has been killed in plane crash in Kaduna. People Glazier has learned from military source. Mr. Ibrahim appointed chief of staff on January the 26th, succeeding Tako. He was 54 years old. Mr. Ibrahim was killed alongside other top military chiefs who were on the same flight. Sources say the presidency has been briefed about the development. So my people, this is what is happening. Please don't think it is a mistake or no ground. Think that it is one of those things. It is one of those silly mistake, probably a pilot's mistake and all that. No. When the, when you hear the sound of the music change, every good dancer will retrace a step to accommodate for the new dance step and will dance in a way that reflect the reading of the new sound that has been played. Like I earlier reiterated at the beginning, very recently, the presidency has been feeling threatened because when this new chief of staff came into office, the chief of army staff particularly, he was the one who raised the alarm that there were no weapons for the army to fight with. Don't forget that. Our very own son, yes, our very own son, Falana, has also been fighting for the freedom of some army personnel who have been sentenced to death. Reason being that they said they, because they made, they, 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 they made an outcry that there was no weapon and they need proper weapon to be able to combat Buharam and the rest. For this said reason, they were judged in the military court and were sentenced to death. Apolline Media, we produced you with a video where Falana San, you know, has um, been able to secure the release of some. Uh, some will be released in a few years. I mean, this has been since about close to 10 years. Some has been for six years. 
being charged with different offenses. Offense ranging from exposing what was going on in the military and so on and so forth. It's as though in the military there is a secrecy to which nobody must raise an alarm or let the outside world know what is going on. When he came into office, he explained to the uh, chief of uh, uh, the army uh, director that he explained that this is what is happening and there are no weapons. He in turn raised the alarm that there are no weapons. He came back again, reiterated his words that he did not say that, and you could see that it was all messy because they were trying to cover up a lie. Also, after that saga that happened and the whole of Nigerians was just watching them, fooling their, themselves, it became apparent that someone somewhere was lying. Also, the matter became more obvious when the when you know uh, uh, there was another explanation that the uh, the new chief of staff they were planning to overthrow or plan a coup if for better for better I mean for better choice of word to overthrow Muhammad Buhari due to incompetence in office and for the fact that insecurity was ravaging the country and so there was this planned coup which you know they later came up to say that. The army chiefs came up to say that they were standing with Muhammad Buhari. Could there be something that he has found out? Not just himself, him and other prominent personnel. And for that reason, they've been given a death sentence. And the way to make it look like it was something, you know, something nobody can really go ahead and say it did not happen was for a plane crash. And Nigeria, we do. Anything can happen. So this is particularly what is going on now. This is what is happening. The plane crash has occurred. Um, the army chief of staff is gone. But what else? Who could be the next? Could it be a plan? Could, be, could it be natural? Could it be genuine? For now, we don't know. But as the days unfold, there is nothing hid under the sun that will not be revealed. All will become clearer as we look forward as the day approaches. In the army, very soon, and in the next few days, they'll be calling forth to explain and to say who the new chief of staff is. Whatever the case is, we'll be keeping you up to date. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. God bless you.